it's going to change it from your normal uh, camera sensor over into the wide camera sensor. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today we'll be doing a simple unboxing of the Galaxy Z Flip. Now this one here is the black version with 256 gigs of internal storage. And we'll also test it out with this case here from Casemate. And we'll just see basically how does it feel? How does it look? So this one is a one piece seamless design, enhanced tactical grip, shock absorbing materials, tactile buttons, and cushioned corners. So we'll see about that here in just a minute but let's first take a look take a peek of what is inside here we do have the galaxy z flip when you open this up right over here the very first thing that you will see in the top cover is going to be your quick start guide and then when you pull this out on the bottom of it is going to be your sim card popper so Let's take this one out here in just a minute because we will be placing in the SIM card over into this phone. Now, right over here is just a little bit of a piece of paper here letting us know the future changes shape, meet your Galaxy Z Flip and you know pretty much everything else that they've kind of been talking about. Now, there is going to be care instructions with this one. Just talking about don't press it so hard where the camera is, don't press on the screen so hard, try not to scratch it with your fingertip and so on and so forth. So let's just take this off here. Ooh. So it looks like pull tabs on both the top and the bottom. And there we go. So this one right here is going to be, you know, the black version. There is gold as well as purple. I was actually trying and hoping to get the purple because it actually did look really good. Uh, but here is the black design. It almost looks blue in the correct light, you know, and also especially in front of the clouds and everything else. But here we go. Let's give this one the first fold. Ah, that's just so nice. It's gonna be really nice, you know, placing this, you know, in the pocket. Now there is gonna be a small gap right in between there, which it is really nice that there is a small gap. The reason why that there is a small gap and the reason why I like it is because if there is happen to be, you know, small grains inside of there, maybe small pieces of sand, it'll just fall right through. It's not gonna scratch it. Also, you know, it's not really, you know, thin glass. We've already kind of seen that, but you don't wanna have this type of glass or film scratching against the the other so it's gonna be really nice that there is a small little gap in between so let's lay this down to the side and this piece of paper over here the Galaxy Z premier service so it looks like you have a QR code you can scan to get support and a little bit more premier service than what Samsung already offers here is going to be the AT&T sim which I just opened up took it out so we'd be ready to place it in now this one is just a normal adaptive fast charger it's not gonna be you know the 45 watt or maybe not even the 25 watt just because it is USB-A over into Type-C. So it is not Type-C to Type-C. So that right there is a huge bummer, at least for me, because I'm a huge, you know, user of, you know, fast charging. So if we open this one up here, this one looks like it's going to be the connector for USB uh, over into Type-C. So this way you'd be able to plug this in on the bottom of your flip and you can really plug in anything that is Type-A. So you can plug in a flash drive, you can plug in a mouse, a keyboard, you know, really whatever you want to. Here is going to be your charging cable. So this one is going to be your USB-A over into USB Type-C. So it is definitely sad that it's not Type-C to Type-C, especially for the price point of this device. Uh, and then this one is going to be the pretty nice AKG headset. So it is Type-C on the very bottom. So there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So taking a look around the phone on the very bottom, you will have your USB Type-C charge port. You also have one speaker grill. Uh, there's nothing along the bottom on the left side on the top left hand side this is where you place in your sim card and then on the right hand side nothing on the bottom but on the top right hand side you're going to see your power button which is also going to serve as your fingerprint scanner so it's built in just like the galaxy s10e and then also your volume rocker now on the backhand side over here you have two different shooters right over there and you also have your small baby screen on the front so let's just turn this one on and let's see what we got. So now that we're opened up, let's go head over to the next section. I'm going to say yes to all of those. Let's connect over into a Wi-Fi. So as this is checking for info and doing some updates, I do believe that there is yes a little case, a little cover that you're able to use, you know, that comes inside the box. Now, this one is going to be two completely separate, you know, cases, little covers. Uh, so let's just kind of move this on. Let's see what it feels like. So this is going to be the case that comes inside of the box. So it is really nice that it is clear. It can see whatever, you know, color 
of foam that you have. Uh, let's give this one a close. Now it does kind of lift up just a little bit, you know, kind of where this hinge is located. Uh, but as long as it's on there snugly, it's not gonna fall off. So this is what it looks like. If you guys are curious with the internal case that's in there, this little area is kind of like a suction. So it kind of suctions itself to the glass without really having adhesive. Uh, so let's just kind of go through and, and log in with our Gmail. Now I've gone through a few of the opening pages, but here let's just kind of go through and I do want to set up a fingerprint. Uh, I am a little curious on how this one works over side here. Um, also, you do need to set up either a pattern, pin, and password when you do use a fingerprint in case of, you know, fingerprint isn't working at that moment in time or maybe you're wearing gloves. So I'm going to place in a pin. Now the pin is in place. Now let's go through and scan the fingerprint. So there we go. It's actually, it's pretty simple. You know, I wish I can kind of, you know, spin the phone around, kind of like what you do with the fingerprint on the screen. Um, but because there's only really one way to hold the phone, um, this is what we're gonna go with right here. So I'm moving it around, kind of going up and down a little bit, spinning my thumb, rotating it. You can't really see it in the in the camera here, but I'm trying to place it in, in small, you know, different spots, getting it all the way up to 100. So. There we go, we got the fingerprint added, and let's just head over into next. This screen here, after you log in with your Samsung account, you'll be able to bring some of your data from the cloud. So I'm gonna choose it with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, uh, and you'll be able to bring over your phone calls, also your messages, contacts, clock, some of your settings, Bixby Home if you want, uh, your home screen, as well as applications. So this one I will do. It looks like that there is 3.68 gigs, so I'm gonna hit on next. So what exactly did that little sheet look like when we first opened up this box talking about, you know, before we get started. So here's what that screen looks like. Let's just might as well, you know, read it and go over it. Avoid pressing hard on the screen or the front camera lens. Tap the screen lightly to keep it safe. Uh, when you fold the phone, make sure that there's nothing inside that could damage the screen, such as cards, coins, or keys. Your phone isn't water or dust resistant. Don't allow any liquids or small particles to enter it. Don't attach adhesives such as films or stickers to the main screen and keep your phone away from credit cards, medical devices, and other objects that can be affected by magnets. And there we go. It looks like this is going to be the wallpaper that is, you know, by default on the Galaxy Z Flip. So as this is restoring some of that data, let's just give this one a close because there was a lot of notifications. So on the front of your phone on the small screen, you can swipe over and this is where you can see some of those notifications. Now, if you tap on any of those icons, it's just gonna take you inside of exactly what that notification is. So this is just letting me know that it's uh, finishing up some of the information of transfers. Uh, this one right here is gonna be the one for setting up backup. Uh, and you just kind of be able to read a few of those, a small little display. Now, one more really cool thing that this small screen is able to do is with your power button, if you give it a double press, it's your quick camera launch. And so you'd be able to see yourself inside of that front facing camera. And again, uh, because there is that continuous of the flip UI, once I open this up, it'll go inside of my camera. Now, the other cool thing is that if you tap on the screen once, it's going to change it from your normal uh, camera sensor over into the wide camera sensor. So this is probably gonna be the one that you use most of the time just because it looks super cool. And then when you open this up, you can see it goes directly over inside of the camera. Now, as we're inside of the camera here, there is one thing I do wanna show you. And on the very top right hand side, it actually says off. Off just means that the little display right there is turned off at that moment in time. But when you turn this one on, now maybe let's say that that person you're taking a picture of wants to see what it looks like. Now that display is turned on and that's really all this little, uh, this top little notification button is. Now the other thing I'm super excited to play with is going to be single take. I've already done a video talking a little bit about single take and exactly what it is, but I'm actually extremely happy to play with it here. Uh, so what it says here is welcome to single take where your camera automatically captures the best pictures and clips of any scene tap the shutter button on the next screen to try it out so I'm not gonna do that right now just because there's not a lot around me but I'll do that in a future video uh, when you swipe this over into more this is where you have more shooting modes you'd be able to place these on your main shortcuts on the very bottom if you would like uh, either by doing the edit button or possibly uh, just bringing it right on down with your fingertip now, another thing that I do want to show you guys is going to be a part of, you know, the flip UI, which is a way that you'd be able to put this up uh, and you can set it up to where if you wanted to stand in front of the camera and you can take a picture that way, 
or if you'd want to, you'd be able to take a picture of yourself doing a selfie. You'd be able to walk back and because I put my hand there, it took a picture automatically and it did it again. So let me scoot back one more time. I'm gonna put my hand up. We took a photo. Let's open this thing up. Uh, and then let's see, we're gonna go to allow. And so for me, I can view my image. Let's just bring this down a little bit, uh, but you'd be able to switch your pictures uh, going like that. And then when you open it up, it's just going to center it for you. So let's set this to the side and let's open up and test this casemate case. Uh, this one is a one piece design. I got an at and for $40. So let's just kind of see, you know, how does it feel? How does it work? Uh, do you want to get one that is one piece or do you want to get one that is two piece? So inside of here just says tough case, 10 foot drop protection, one piece, seamless design, enhanced tactile grip, uh, shock absorbing materials, tactile buttons, cushion corners, and a lifetime warranty. So this is, <laughs> this is what we got. Let's test it out. Okay, let's go to the top first. So you can see here that when you place it in and it's all the way extended, uh, it's just not going to fit. So this, all right, let's. Hmm. All right, so this looks good here. I mean, it completely takes away from the Samsung name. I mean, it feels good when I hold on to it. Um, the buttons for the volume rocker, it almost feels as if there's nothing there. So that's actually really nice. So it does have actually good responsive buttons. But the issue here <laughs> is opening it up. So this, is that gonna be out the whole time? So this, let's see, let's see if we can, can we push this in? No. Okay, that's kind of ugly. All right, what do you guys think of this? So this this design here, you got a little little flap, little flap going on in the back. I mean, it looks nice when it's closed. Um, it, I mean, it does feel good as well. Um, I'm able to reach all of this stuff right here. This this feels pretty good. Uh, let's test out the fingerprint area though. So I see that right here. I mean, the fingerprint spot is it's in there. I mean, there's a there's a dip that's going on. Trying to see if the fingerprint will unlock it here. So far, no avail. All right, let's test out taking it off. So, I mean, I mean, that's fine right there. Here, let's test this again here. Right there, see how it unlocks right there? Super easy, responsive, it's nice, you know, but this area here that is covering, it's almost as if it's too deep. It's almost too deep, you know, of an area Okay, so that one worked. So it's definitely not as easy as what it was from before. And actually earlier, uh, I we did have the Samsung one on there, but it's because it's completely opened where the fingerprint would have been. So this one, uh, not a huge fan of the casemate case here. I mean, it feels good. I think it looks good, but I'd have to say no for the, the flap in the back and no for this area here because this is literally right around the fingerprint reader. There's really no way for my thumb to get in there. Maybe if I had smaller thumbs, not as fat thumbs, but I mean, shoot, I'm 195 pounds, I'm five foot 10. These hands kind of seem normal, right? Uh, I feel like this is gonna have some issues with a few people. So if I get lucky, uh, it reads it right away. So I'm just trying to tap it as normal uh, and it works basically 30% uh, of the time. So there's one, there's two, so it kind of works basically 30% of the time, which is really not that great. But this one right here is the Casemate case. Uh, again, not a huge fan of this one. I'm going to probably take this one off. You know, maybe I'll use it here and there. Maybe maybe I'll get used to it with finger, you know, memory. But I'm going to move it right over inside of here. Put it back inside of the Samsung case uh, that actually came inside of the box. Give this one a look again. Uh, it's a clear one. And you can see how it's just completely open on the side. Uh, and it's super easy to get this thing unlocked. That does it here for the unboxing of the Galaxy Z Flip. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos on the Galaxy Z Flip and also the upcoming Galaxy S20 series, make sure you guys give this thing a huge subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.